Hello, this is Ben119 and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be carrying on with my Lynx Crossbow Training walkthrough. And we're on part 3 and we're on level 3. So yeah, I'm going to be showing you how to get Platinum on level 3. Starting off with stage number 1, which is another target practice level. The first level of every, like, I mean the first stage of every level is usually a target practice stage. Apart from the final level where it's not. But we'll get to that when we get to it. So the whole concept of this level is the targets appear at the pace of your gameplay. So if you, the targets will never disappear on you unless you get to the end of a 20 second round and then you'll move on and they'll disappear. But it's up to you on how fast or slow you go. Like right there I felt like I could have gone faster but again I just want to show that this game values accuracy and consistency over going fast. So yeah, as you can see right here, I'm not even going through extremely fast, like, I'm just trying to be as accurate as possible with each target, and as you can see, my multiplier is through the roof, like, I'm on times 48, times 49, times 50, times 51, and if you look at my score, my score is ridiculous already, and that's just the secret to this game, this game is actually just so simple, it just requires consistency. So right here, I'm just gonna keep being accurate. And again, because I hit both scarecrows, I got to go to this third area. Usually you go on top of one of the buildings, and there'd be a targets up there. But if you get the secret, you get more targets. Like, this area has got way more targets. And it's more fun as well. I mentioned this in part one, how if you get both scarecrows in the starting sections, you get to go to a different area in some of the levels. And how usually the sections are usually more fun and you get more points so yeah I'd recommend doing that. So yeah we got 150,000 points on that first stage so we almost have double what a platinum's worth within one stage so we could literally do nothing on both these stages and still get a platinum but again what would be the fun in that like I just want to show like how to get good scores on levels so that'd just be pointless. So this level is about shooting fruit, so you shoot the uh, watermelon and it splits up, then you shoot the... What are the yellows? Are they ch uh, lemons? Let me just have a quick look. Uh, I'm not even sure what they are, but whatever they are, you hit them and then they turn into like strawberries. And yeah, the fruits get smaller, but the fruits are worth more points, so yeah. Uh, as you can see, like when you hit the fruits, like these sounds play and then when it gets to a certain amount, like, it will play like a noise as if you've just hit a certain section of things. And then a meteor will go past you, and if you hit that, you get 300 points. And that also counts with the multiplier as well, so that's 300 multiplied by whatever you get. So yeah, you can get insane scores on that second level as well. Again, it's about accuracy, and you can get into a rhythm quite easily with that level. Once you understand how the, split, how the fruit balloons split up, you can easily just hit everything really well and go into like a flow state of hitting things. And yeah, this is the final level, this is more of like a defense kind of level, so loads of cargo rocks will appear, and you just want to hit them all. Again, I'm not too focused on accuracy on this level, because I already have way more than enough points, but if you can be accurate and get a load of points, then go for it. But yeah, you shouldn't need to get more points by this point, because yeah, you should have plenty of points from this first two stages. But there's like little details like that scarecrow in the background you can hit that while you're waiting and there's like other birds that fly past so yeah there's like quite a few things you can focus on and yeah again if you look at the counter you'll just see the difference i know i mention this all the time but just look at the difference in points like my points have been reset and as you can see i'm getting nowhere near as many as i was before they reset and yeah i think the whole point of this level is you don't want the cargo to get too close to you either because as you can see they can attack you. But right there at the last second as you could see I hit enough to get the Triforce chart, uh, the Triforce piece. And yeah that's like a bonus incentive you could try and do, you could try and get the Triforce piece on all three stages, that's like something you could go for. Like yeah maybe I should have done that as well but again this is just getting platinum. And something I wanted to mention at the end of the last video is that Platinum should be at 100k in my opinion, not 80k, because I think that would be a better challenge. But yeah, there you go. Uh, that's Platinum for Stage 3. If you enjoyed the video, please like the video and subscribe if you're new around here. I'll be doing Stage 4 in the next video, so check that out. And yeah, 